Hello everyone, this is Chris, and welcome back to Cosmic Chapter 2. Um, yeah, I'm kind of in the middle of a, um, of a lava lake in the middle of the nether. I, am. Um, I got myself a, a tiny bit lost when trying to, uh, trying to traverse this one place, and thankfully I had a, uh, a fire resistance potion, otherwise I would be completely dead, and, um, just kidding. We are actually inside of the Hitman area. And yeah, there's actually plenty to show you, and first off, I gotta get out of here. There's a there's a way you can take off while inside of lava. There we go. Yeah, take a look at this. Now, um, I kinda gotta remember exactly what I left you off with in the last episode, because I did so much work in between episodes, and yeah, take a look at this. We have the entire mountain done, we dug out the entire area. I covered it completely with basalt, filled it in with lava, and, um, yeah, I also built this one bridge. I took some inspiration from the, um, from that one bridge from Shrek. You remember that bridge when they were swinging back across from it, and, you know, they were going to that one castle? Yeah, I took some inspiration from that to make it feel safe, but make it feel also very, very terrifying going across. We have this one guy right here, and also I built two little bridgeways, one leading to... This little area right here with some, some white foxes. I never knew these guys were in here. Huh. We can, we could probably try and incorporate them somehow. And yeah, we have a second one seeing its way just over here, which, which, um, leads to, once again, nothing right now. But will eventually, hopefully in today's episode, lead to some pretty important things to do with Hitman. Oh, and I completely forgot to mention this, but every single lava PCC down there is a lava source, and I had to scoop it up in buckets, take them over here, and place down every single lava block down in here. And, yeah, Sanity has completely, completely left the building when I, uh, when I decide to fill in this one area, but thankfully the, the bulk of placing lava is done, and now we can work on some of the smaller, yet still very important pieces to Hitman. So what I want to kind of do in this sort of section of the mountain area is sort of build the, um, a place where we could show who we signed up and also a place to actually sign up. Right now, what we have is just a small little, um, not great area just sitting on the outskirts over there. But I kind of want to build like a proper sign up area over here and a proper place to show off the, um, the, pl the players inside the one game. So... Yeah, to do that, we need to first off, obviously, build in the floor, and what I'm going to try and do here is sort of build in a, um, a cave-like area inside of mountains, and we're still going to be using the basalt, we're going to be placing basalt on top of this cobblestone, I'd just rather use, a uh, cobblestone from digging out the whole area, because I have an abundance of it, but, yeah, to do that, we just need to build in this one floor, and then, I think in here will be, yeah, where the, uh, where all the names are going to be, and then, over down there is going to be sort of a turn heading down that way, which will hold the sign-up area, but yeah, first off, we need to do the big, uh, big bulk placing of blocks right here. I say first off, but, like, this is going to be, like, the bulk of this one episode, me placing in a lot of blocks, but yeah, we gotta, we gotta get this done if we want to actually get Hitman ready, which is, um, by the way, I kind of want to get Hitman to a point where we can actually start playing it, or at least to the point where it's close to being played at, at some points next week. Like, that's, that's the plan. Whether or not I reach that goal, I'm not sure, but yeah, we're going to try and push as hard as we can to try and, to try and actually make it there. I think one feature which would be really cool to bring from the outside, inside, or say, from the inside out, is actually some lava, and now I'm going to show you my very impromptu way on how I filled in that entire lava pit. So I placed in some blocks, I filled it in with lava, I got rid of the lava, got more blocks, placed more outside of here, and then I rinse and repeat over and over again. I get my lava like this, break this block, place lava, break block, place lava, break, oop, oop, don't do that, don't do that, don't, <laughs> break, place, and then over and over again, Hopefully without trying to, trying to kill myself, and yeah, doing that the entire way out probably won't be as bad as the, the as the, as the huge pit outside, but it's still, it's still no picnic, but I still think it's going to look much better than if we just had, like, just basalt in here. Also, it just lights up the area, and I like, 
I like how we're sort of taking the volcanic, like, ashy type thing, and we're really rolling with it with, um, just having lava basically everywhere we can. A couple hours later, and I managed to make this. And it doesn't look too bad. I, I'm not too, not too upset with it. Like, I didn't actually have as much room as I thought I would, but I think I, I did the best I can with the room I have. And these boards are actually going to be used for the, um, for the people's names, which, speaking of which, we should probably go and actually see who is actually signed up for Hitman right now. We're gonna have to move this eventually, but for now, let's just see who's signed up and... Okay, we have three Hyperians. I'm not exactly sure why there's three of them, but, um, okay. We got a Snyder, Eva, we got Evelyn, we got me, and Tiger. Tiger's back, yeah. Lot lots of people went on vacation all at the same time, and... Yeah, now they're all slowly but surely coming back, one being Tiger. So I wrote every single person's name on the board so far that signed up, which, um, by the way, if any other cosmetics are watching this, sign up to Hitman, come on, I'm trying to get as many people in this game as possible, but yeah, so far we have the first uh, six in, and I am going to move those diamonds and the stuff like that, but to move them, we actually need a space to put them in, and what we're actually going to be doing now is heading our way down this way, which, um, by the way, I've written out some things up here. One for the, uh, the members of Hitman, and for the sign-up and information area, which will be over here. And I've not actually thought of any particular design or anything, but it doesn't need to be anything too big or anything too spectacular. It just needs to be a, a relatively, uh, decent room. Not too big, not too small, and, yeah, it, it just needs to serve the purpose of, um, giving them some information, and to sign up. Um, I won't be giving them too much information yet, because I haven't worked out everything yet, but um, I'll at least move the book and stuff and put it over here. One, two, three, one. One. <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure if I like this or not. Uh... You know what, I'm gonna leave it for now, I'm gonna leave it for now, it's a very simple room, I'll come back to it later if I still don't like it later, or I'll just hire someone to, uh, to build this room for me, but anyways, let's, let's move on and work on other areas. So before, I kind of had the idea of just, like, people coming in from the shopping district and heading your way over here, now I'm kind of thinking about the fact that that's kind of a long walk, so what I'm thinking on doing is actually merging in these two mountains and building a sort of cave-like area, kind of like what we had over here, and building ourselves a nether portal inside of here. But first off, we got to get ourselves at least a little bit more obsidian. We have seven right now, but um, seven, unfortunately, does not make a portal, and I had no idea that this one lava pit was here. Like, if I knew this was here, this was here, I would have drained this thing out a long time ago, because... Otherwise, with the, um, the big lava pits and stuff, I've just been going to, like, the nether or in deep dark caves, and I never once thought of just coming out here to just look for a lava pit in the middle of, like, this, this snowy forest, so at least, at least I'm making the most out of it now, at least I'm, I'm using it in some way. One nether portal built, now it's time for the fun bit of actually trying to link this up in the nether, and I am... Famously, well, probably not famously, but I am very much so not good at doing this, but I guess we should we should at least try our best and see if we can actually do it without ruining the entire the entire nether hub. So doing some math, I think the coordinates we need to go to is 69 by 11, and yes, very funny number by, um, very unfunny number. I, I don't know where I was going with that, but okay, we can build in here and... Cross our fingers as hard as we can. Cross them basically hard enough to break them in the hopes that we are actually in the in the right spot. Because again, I'm not I'm not that great at this. I always have other people doing it. And look at that. I, I even I'm stressing out. I, well not stressing out, I'm just like I don't know, talking and building another portal. It's just it's never easy to do. It's never easy trying to to concentrate on both things at once. But there we go. Finally managed to do it and let's see if this actually actually takes us to where we wanted to, and not just in the middle of a field or something, and... Okay, step one is good, we managed to get ourselves in here. The big question is, will we head in the same place when we head our way back through? That's the big thing, because if that works, then that should mean that we are... we are looking good, but we just gotta... 
wait until this whole generating thing is done, and... Okay, I think we did it. I think we actually managed to do it. That's... That's fantastic. So now I guess it's just a thing of just building in the rest of this mountain and making a tiny little room. It doesn't need to be anything too spectacular or too magnificent. It just needs to be, once again, something which just fits in. That's all I wanted to do, just to fit in. Maybe a little bit more than the information room. I mean, if, if I'm honest, I am re regretting more and more about the way it looks. But yeah, we just need to make a small little room which should hopefully... Uh, do, do what it needs to do is just house this little nether portal room. Can you tell that I completely lost my train of thought in that one clip when I was trying to, trying to explain what I was doing there? Like, um, yeah, that happens from, from time to time when I'm recording. A few thousand basalt later, now we managed to finish building up this one mountain, and if we take a look at it right on the, um, on the bridge right out here, we can see that, yeah, we are pretty much completely enclosed inside this one area. Now, all we gotta do now is actually build in some decoration, and one of the things I am going to need for this decoration is, first off, to get rid of all this, um, all this junk with all these cobblestones and stuff, but also, I'm going to need, um, Crying Obsidian. A block which I have almost never needed, apart from maybe, like, getting it for piglin trading, or, like, for... Actually, I've never used Crying Obsidian before, so this is the very first time, and... Hopefully somewhere in my many chests I have some somewhere just lying around. I mean, I gather so much junk here and there, so I'm bound to have at least some somewhere. Oh, there's some. Okay, we got two right here. Uh, two is not enough. Oh, we got a third one there. I think I need about ten crying obsidian, so we gotta try and muster a way to find at least seven more somewhere around here. Unfortunately, it wasn't to be because, uh... Yeah, I don't really collect this stuff much, so we're gonna have to find some more, but on the way over here, I noticed this new building. I've not noticed any types of new things in the area in such long time, so I'm just curious. Lillian and Effie's house. Oh, the- okay. So the- the- Effie, she's a, um, a new member to Cosmic, and yeah, it looks like she's building her brand new place right here, so it's kind of cool having a new, uh, new person, new player on Cosmic, and, um, do they have any crying obsidian? Like, I'm not gonna take any, I'm just curious if they have any, um... No. No, not not to be, so... We're gonna have to find some in a different place, and... I don't think I have any, like, anywhere else. I mean, I could check around my Ocean Monument base, but I... Kind of, like, doubt I have any over there, but... Fingers crossed, fingers so, so very crossed that we have at least a few more blocks somewhere around here. Anything? Nope. Anything in... Nope, just a panda head and a bunch of bamboo. Uh, we got some basalt, we'll take that actually, I might need more of that. Uh, anything here? We got some black wool, uh, no, not, not to be. Maybe there's some in the chests over at the base, I know there's a few chests over there, but, again, I'm, I'm doubting that there's any over there, but, we can see, we can hope. The hope is gone. I have no crying obsidian other than this three. So where am I actually gonna go get some crying obsidian? Maybe, maybe I could go to someone else's base and just take some, leave maybe some diamonds or a sign or something because I don't know what to do. I, I really don't know what to do. I mean, I don't want to like bother building a piglin farm just to get myself seven more crying obsidian. That, that seems like a waste. So maybe I could just like, sneakily borrow a little bit and maybe leave some diamonds for them or leave a sign or something like that. Our problems have been solved. Hyperion is actually collecting crying obsidian from his piglin farm and from the looks of things he has plenty. So um, Hi Hyperion, is it okay if I have seven? Just seven of I'm um, crying obsidian. Like if you want like diamonds for it or something like that then totally ask me, totally like let me know but yeah I'm just gonna just gonna sneakily take just a, just seven, just to, just to build, just to build Hitman. Everyone loves Hitman. Everyone wants to be part of this, so, um, yeah, once again, just let me know. So the reason I needed this ten crying obsidian is just to build a little, like, edgeway on the side of this, um, nether portal, because otherwise it kind of just looks a little, uh, bland. We're gonna build in these walls a little bit further in, and it just looks a little bit bland having it on its own. So having a little bit of, um extra, I guess, dark colors next to the gray colors makes it stand out a little bit more, but yeah, now we have to actually work on 
filling in the rest of this one area with a whole bunch more basalt. I mean, this entire build, this entire Hitman area is just basalt, basalt, and a little bit of lava. So, yeah, I, I'm very happy with the way things are going, but I'm also very looking forward to just moving on to other projects. I mean, I'm going to love when, I'm, when we're actually going to play this, but it's just like basalt, 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 over and over and over again. And I'm not going crazy, but I feel like I'm... I'm losing my sanity, which is probably the same thing, but, um, but oh well. Another couple of stacks of basalt later, and we managed to build this little area, and I think it does the job. Maybe it needs a few soul lanterns or something like that, but in the whole, it's a, it's a nice little, um, nether pool area. Now, I think the only thing I have to do left is to actually work over here, which over here, there's going to be the counters for everyone's score and a little extra thing, a little extra bits of boosts and nerfs and other things like that unfortunately because of the sheer scale of the um of this one project and of how much digging i'm gonna have to do i don't think i'm gonna have time to do it exactly in this one video but i do want to actually show you what the counters and other things like that are going to be about so I've hopped into my creative world, or at least one of them, where I, you know, download some builds and other things like that, and I built what will be the rough outline for the one counter. So it's essentially going to work the same way, but there's a little bit of extra things. So first off, you kill one person, you get a point. You kill them again, you get another point. On and on and on, until you fill up this entire scoreboard, which we can do right now. You fill up this entire scoreboard, and... What will happen is when it fills up completely, instead of you just completely out, outright winning, what will actually happen is this thing will go empty, and then you'll get an actual score. This is like your filling up of the score, and this is your your main score. But if if um you manage to uh, kill someone, or someone manages to kill you or something, then you actually have the option of taking away one of their scores down here. You, you have, you know, there is no way to actually take, take down people's scores from up here, but if you want to take down at least one of their scores down here, then you totally have the option to do so. And I also mentioned buffs and nerfs and other things like that. I haven't worked out everything to do that, but basically my idea is that everyone is going to start in iron armor and have like iron weaponry, like iron swords and stuff, and they'll have the option of actually getting the ability to uh, boost up their their gear. I, again, not worked out every single little thing with that, not worked out every single little uh, boost, not every single little nerf, but I'm, I'm getting there. So even though we didn't completely build the entire Hitman area, we are actually very close. We built out uh, the sign-up and info stuff and all the member things, the nether portal area, but all we have to do now is just the, um, the counters, the boosts and nerf thing down here, and... Then, I think Hitman will be ready. So, once again, like last time, in between videos, in between this one and next one, I'm going to be working as hard as I can to try and get Hitman done. Um, whether or not that happens, we'll have to see. But, yeah, in the next episode, I don't know what's going to happen. If I finish this, then we will probably open Hitman, ready to play. And, yeah, if we don't, then um, I don't think I want to do another episode in a row just working on this. I kind of want to like, do other things. I want to, like, actually, you know, give myself some variety. So, next episode, not exactly sure I'm going to, but look forward to the next episode regardless. But, yeah, for now, that's pretty much all I have for you. So, thanks for watching, and I will see you all later.